This is inside of our outside refrigerator. And this is a little something I have. That black bag right there is also full. Can anybody guess what I'm going to be doing today? Stay tuned and you'll find out. Now to go feed the cow. This is some of my supplies I've already set up for blanching the corn. You see I have every one of my cooling racks that I own is on the table. This is, uh, I don't know, I call this corn scraper. I really don't know what that is. I have my pan I'm gonna drain the corn in after that comes out of the hot water from being blanched. And then I have a bowl that I'm gonna probably be grating into. And of course I have my ball books that tells me all my instructions. I have my pot heating up with my water that I'm going to blanch my corn. It's heating up. My son came home just in time to bring my corn inside. Now I'm fixing to wash it and get it ready to go for when the water starts boiling. All right, I'm filling my sink up. I'm going to put my corn in here. The corn's really not that dirty. It just, I need to get the hairs off of it. And that's our dog, Sugar Bear. She likes to bark. I have two brushes that I have out. I don't use these any, for anything but cleaning vegetables. So I feel perfectly secure in using this brush on my corn. But I also have this bottle brush. I think I might use it. I, I think it may work a little better. And all the corn will be done like this, getting ready for the blanching. And I have to consult my book on the time. See, I missed a little spot right there. That's good to take a look at them inside. And when I go to take it off the cob, I guess I haven't said I'm making, I guess it's more like cream style corn. It's a mix between whole kernel and cream style corn that I make. But anyway, uh, I always consult my book to make sure I do my times right because from year to year I forget. This is my first time this year doing corn. Hopefully it's the only time I'll have to do it. I have to see how many bags I'll better get out of this. So. Well, I consulted my book and I'm so glad I did because I was thinking it was two minutes to blanch. It's actually six. So I'm gonna load my corn up in the pan. This has been washed, I still have more to wash. And start it blanching. Very hot, I may have too much water in there, I don't know. And you start counting your time once you get all the ears in there. You don't have to bring it back to a bowl. Ooh, 
Oh, I'm barely getting it in there. Okay. Six minutes. Yeah. All right, that's been six minutes. And it's time to take them out. Now, I say every year we're going to do this outside on the the crawfish burner that has a basket and today is Wednesday so my son and my husband are both working so I'm doing this by myself and I really don't know that I could pick up the basket full of corn so I'm doing it the way I always have done it I have missed them having them outside shucking and me being inside starting this so I've had to I've had to do it all myself today but it's worth it to have our year's worth of corn. And actually, um, I'm gonna be taking this off the cob, most of this. Some of the ears I'll keep whole. So uh, they just have to be cooled and put in freezer bags or seal the meals, whichever way you wanna do it uh, once. For it to, to do whole ears. All right, now I have to let my water come back up to a bowl and put more ears in. And I'll get these other ones on the rack. I've blanched all the corn and it's all completely cooled and now all I have left to do is to take it off the cob and then put it in the bags for the freezer. It's very simple. We love this corn scraper or I don't know what I don't remember what the name of it is, but Anyway, this is what the only thing we use. We have tried the knife before. My mama said they used to use a knife to cut it off the cob and all that. I just love this. We'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. You feel free to. But this is our go-to. This is all we use. I'm going to show you a picture of one that's not all dirty. Well, it's not dirty, but full of corn, should I say. You scrape the corn along here like this. This blade here cuts the corn off. This actually scrapes your cob to get all the little milky juice in. And then the corn comes out right there. Anyway, we just love it. The, the key to uh, freezing your, your vegetables and, and even deer meat and everything is to double bag. And so what I've done is I've taken quart bags and I folded them down where I don't get corn around the lip and then I can fold it up to seal it. Anyway, I put about two cups of corn per bag and it's, it doesn't have to be exact. It's just about how much we need to eat at a time. And I just do this and I just get me some bags filled up. this. I'll show you how easy that is to close it. And see that stays nice and clean with it folded down. Take all the air out. I like to, to lay mine flat like that because they thaw out a lot quicker. They thaw out really fast when you take them out of the freezer. like that and then I'll have another bag and these are these are freezer bags I have done it with just storage bags and then I'll take and as many as I can get in a freezer bag that's how many I put but like I'll put two three four more however many I can get in there comfortably and be able to seal the bag but that's the way I put corn up and it'll last us all year. In fact, I'm eating, we're eating corn right now that I've had frozen in this manner 
for three or four, three years. Now I've told you my tips for putting up corn. I'd like to hear your tips for putting up corn or any other vegetable for that matter. And if you'd like to see us put up some other vegetables, if you're curious about something else, let us know. Put it below in the comments.